Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to consist of how I fill in my eyebrows, how I shape them, how I trim them, how I pluck them, all the tea on my eyebrows. If you're interested, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe for two new videos every single week. It's going to be every Wednesday and Saturday. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. So we're going to begin just grabbing the any pencil you have. I'm just going to take the spoolie and then just brush up your hairs and the first thing that you need to do is what kind of shape you want so just start out by placing your pencil in the inner corner of your eye and then it should align right where your brow begins so that's how that's where you know that your brow should begin and then also if you place it right here at the end at an angle then that's where your brow should end so that should give you a little bit of a guide of how your eyebrow should look so then after you brush up your hairs next thing that i do is i try to see if there's like any little hairs that i should pluck that bother me i do not over pluck i already made that mistake back in middle school high school so now i want to go for like a more fuller like fluffier brow so i just like get rid of the little hairs down here that i think should not be there Nothing too close to the brow because I do want to keep a more thick brow. Also, it's very important to clean up up here because it's going to give that illusion of a cleaner brow. If you have a bunch of hair on your forehead, then it's not going to look as clean. I mean, you can pluck it, but it's going to hurt. <laughs> so what I do is I like to shave it and I'm going to put on the screen what I use to shave my face. I know what uh, shape I want, which I will also put on the screen so you know. Um, I don't want to go for like a too high an arch because I do have a round face. If I have a high arched brow, then I'm just going to look uneven and weird. So I do want it to be kind of horizontal, but also with like a little bit of an arch. So it looks more natural. Now that I have my hair up, I do want to go ahead and trim a little bit. So you want to brush them all the way up just like this so you know exactly where to trim. So obviously over here, there's no hairs that are sticking out. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim up here just a little bit. And then I'm going to align it right where I want the brow to end, if that makes sense, right here. So you have to be careful with this part because you don't want to over trim you brush them to the side and then sometimes i also since my eyebrows are a little bit curly sometimes i do like to brush them down like this and then you see there's a lot of like excess hair because at the end of the day if i don't apply eyebrow gel then the, this is what they're going to look like so i do want to trim them a little bit there as well not too much i just like to do it at the very end because if i trim it too much and when you brush them to the side and there's going to be a bunch of empty spots yes you can still fill it in but you want to keep as much of your natural hair natural hair as possible and go ahead and brush up again and then you should have a more cleaner brow so we're going to start out with our products and then after you brush up the hair first thing i'm going to do is take my little micro brow um, pencil this is from nyx and i do like this one because small point so there are several other ones like this one from wet and wild but i don't like this one because this retractable one is way too thick so i like to use this one just to fill in the gaps the next micro brow just it has my heart <laughs> this one for urban from urban decay where they have like a little ink pen you can use this to draw fake hairs but this is too complicated for me i feel like i'm not that good at it and then they also have this pencil on the other side which you can also use to fill it in so there's a bunch of options you have there's also the little dip brows that come in a little tube like this. I have this one from Soap and Glory, and then there's also the one from Anastasia I use all the time. I left that one in my car, so I don't have it here to show you, but I'll put it on the screen. You use that also to fill in your gaps, and then you can just go in with a pencil and like make it more even if you like. But for today, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna only use my NYX micro brow to fill in the hair. So the first thing I do is I start right here in the center, and I'm going to draw the shape that I want underneath here. So I'm not going to talk while I do this because I'm going to mess up, so just watch. So I'm going to try to mimic this brow, which is this is my good brow, this is my bad brow, so that's why I wanted to show you on this one because this was a little bit more tricky for me. Keep it very steady and then now that you have that line, I'm just going to follow the natural shape of the brow and just keep underlining all the way through.
So when I get to the end, I do like to draw right in the middle of the hairs, not below that because then it's just gonna look thicker. And I do wanna keep the same height of both of the arches. So I do wanna go a little bit higher than my natural brow so it looks more elevated, if that makes sense. So now that I have the shape and the underline, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start with little strokes. You wanna go with lighter strokes in the center because it does give it a more natural effect and go darker towards the end. And we're also gonna use the spoolie to just diffuse that a little bit at the end. But for now, you just wanna go in with little strokes, just fill in those gaps. So I believe this is like the easiest way to do this. Okay, so this one obviously is a little bit more higher up here. I don't have those hairs, so I'm gonna try to make it look as even as possible with this brow. So I wish I could just go like this or something and then they would look even, but of course our human bodies are not perfect. So that's where makeup comes into play. So it's looking a little bit too bold, so I'm, I'm gonna go in with a spoolie and just try to diffuse that a little bit, especially in the center. I do like to kind of erase the bottom line right here, just so it looks more like hair and not like pencil. This one is still a little bit higher, but that's because you see they have like those hairs that go like this, and I don't have that on this one. That's why it gets so tricky on this eyebrow. The goal here is to make it look like that one at the end of the day they never look the same but i that's where you try to make it look the same as much as possible but i have all the hairs filled in i do go in with my clear brow gel this one from anastasia i know they have some different ones but i find that this one is the one that lasts the most throughout the day and i am gonna brush up so it looks like this one you see how these these hairs go up and these hairs go hairs go that way so that's why i try to brush it up so it looks more like a fluffy brow you can get them laminated and go through the whole process, but I just, I like to just use makeup and then wash it off at the end of the day and then repeat the next day, you know? So if you want a more cleaner look, I do suggest you go in with a little bit of concealer and I just grab whatever concealer you have. And then I just apply like a couple dots right at the brow bone because I'm gonna disperse it with this little flat shader brush that I have. This is what it looks like. It's synthetic, so it's very good for keeping the product concentrated. I, I'm just going to start tapping right below the brow just to clean it up a little bit. And I don't go in with a lot of product because then you're going to have just way too much. So just if you want to build it up, you can just start out with a little bit. And there we go. That is literally all that I do with my eyebrows. And if you want to set it with a powder, you can do that as well. The concealer, just so it doesn't move throughout the day. And I'm just gonna set that concealer in place. There we go. That is all that I do with my eyebrows. It is very simple. You can use whatever products you have at home. Just make it work. Just remember what shape you want. Fill in the gaps. That's all you have to do. I know eyebrows are a little bit overwhelming for some people. If you have non-existent eyebrows, suggest you going in with the ink stain from this um, pencil or whichever you have and just draw in the little hairs. But you gotta work with what you have, right? So this is the completed look. Just applied some concealer, some blush, some lip gloss, mascara, and then I called it a day. If you enjoyed these kinds of little tutorials, just go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!